Chile's 4,000-kilometer-long landscape is punctuated by volcanoes, thousands of them. Like the Puyehue Cordoncauye, which in 2011 spewed ash clouds that circled the southern hemisphere at least five times. Now, to try to predict and prepare for eruptions, Chile's government has built a state-of-the-art network that monitors volatile volcanoes in real time, like the Copahue, which has been on yellow alert since April. We are monitoring 43 of the most active volcanoes with cameras, thermal and seismic sensors, and other devices so that Chile can have first-rate information to put an early warning system in motion. But of all the active volcanoes, one poses the greatest potential danger. And so, accompanied by a top volcano expert, we go to see the Villa Rica in southern Chile. Hugo Moreno tells us it's long overdue for a major eruption. A reason for concern, because just a few kilometers away are the popular tourist cities of Pucón and Villa Rica. I'm on the northern slope of the Villa Rica volcano. Every day, people hike up to the crater, and in the winter, they even ski off the slope you see behind me. But in the case of a major eruption, in the worst case scenario, everything within a 30 kilometer radius of here, which in summer means up to 100,000 people, would be destroyed within 15 minutes. Moreno says it's not lava flows, but massive earth slides, which pose the most likely threat. When it erupts, the lava can violently melt the volcano's glacier and snow and free huge quantities of water, millions of cubic meters, that flow down the volcano at up to 100 kilometers per hour, dragging boulders, rocks, volcanic sand, and everything in its path. Next to the road, we find an enormous volcanic boulder, a souvenir from the Villa Rica's last big eruption in 1971. 77-year-old Luzmila Quintana, who raises sheep on the foothills of the volcano, was just a child at the time. The earth slides kill people like flies, the animals too. The volcano took everything. Houses were tossed in the air. And yet, like so many, Mrs. Quintana believes that since it happened long ago, there's nothing to worry about now. A false sense of security, say experts, who insist it's not a matter of if, but when the Villa Rica will show its fury again. Which is why this time, these modern monitoring devices could make all the difference. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Pucón, Chile. Stay with